Hey there, movie enthusiast. Do you remember those days when you gathered around the TV or headed to the local cinema to watch the classic 1954 gem? A star is born. Ah, the nostalgia. You know, there's something truly magical about reminiscing the old days when Judy Garland and James Mason graced the screen, taking us on a journey of love, ambition, and the ups and downs of stardom. I bet you have your own cherished memories, those moments when you were completely captivated by Esther Blodgett's transformation into the sensational Vicky Lester. Or perhaps Norman Maine's tragic tale struck a chord with you. Share with us, what were your favorite scenes or characters? Did you shed a tear, feel a rush of excitement, or get lost in the timeless melodies of this film? It's amazing how these classics can transport us back in time, isn't it? Now, let's dive into some fascinating random facts about the show to reignite your love for A Star Is Born. Filming for the 1954 movie A Star Is Born was no swift affair. It chewed up ten long months before they could wrap it up. Now, that's what you call a commitment to making a film. But here's something curious Judy Garland, the star of the show, took home a bit of the set with her after filming was done. She swiped some furniture and thought she could get away with it. She even had the gall to invite the producer, Jack L. Warner, to her place. He only found out when he walked into her home and saw his missing set pieces sitting there. Imagine that. Now, about the song The Man That Got Away, it was a big deal. They shot it in three different ways, using all kinds of camera setups, lighting, and costumes. They even had Judy doing different things before she sang it. But in the end, they went with the dark version the club looked like a dim cave, and Judy was wearing a navy blue dress. You can see all these versions if you grab the DVD from Warner Home Video. And that's a bit of the inside scoop on the 1954 A Star Is Born. Ten months of filming, a furniture heist, and some song shot shenanigans. In 1954, during the making of A Star Is Born, a notable incident occurred. Hugh Martin, who had been hired as the vocal arranger, had a dispute with Judy Garland over her interpretation of the song The Man That Got Away. This disagreement led to Martin leaving the set. In his place, Judy Garland's mentor and MGM vocal arranger, Roger Edens, stepped in to take over the role. This behind-the-scenes drama highlighted the challenges faced during the production of this iconic film. The movie itself faced a financial setback resulting in financial troubles for Judy Garland and her husband, Sidney Luft. The film's box office performance was disappointing, leaving Garland and Luft in a tough financial spot. To make matters worse, both Jack and Harry M. Warner had advanced money to Sidney Luft against his share of the film's profits. When the money wasn't returned from ticket sales, both Warner brothers resorted to legal action, suing Luft to recoup their investments. This legal battle also led to the cancellation of the Luft's contract with Warner Bros. for future projects. Amid these challenges, there was a personal joy for Judy Garland. During the completion of the film, she received the news that she was pregnant for the third time, adding a touch of happiness to an otherwise turbulent period in her life. These incidents surrounding the making and aftermath of A Star Is Born in 1954 reveal the complexities of Hollywood and the personal struggles of its stars. Despite the film's challenges, it remains a classic in the world of cinema, with Judy Garland's performance and the enduring power of its music still celebrated today. In the 1954 movie A Star Is Born, there's an interesting reference to the name Ellen Terry. Norman Maine mentions this name to Esther Blodgett. Ellen Terry, an English stage actress from 1847 to 1928, earned the title of Dame in 1925. She became a renowned Shakespearean actress in Britain during the late 19th century. Ellen Terry also showcased her talents in plays by playwrights like Ibsen and George Bernard Shaw. Notably, she was the maternal aunt of actor John Gielgud. Jill Good had acted alongside James Mason and Julius Caesar in 1953. Later, Jill Good's protege, Sam Neill, starred alongside Mason and Merlin in 1998. Most notably, Ellen Terry's connection extended to Judy Garland, as she was the maternal aunt of Lisa Minnelli. Minnelli shared the screen with Jill Good's aunt in the film Arthur in 1981. This historical link adds a layer of intrigue to A Star Is Born, connecting its stars to a legacy of talent and theatrical excellence. While the movie is a classic in its own right, these ties to legendary figures of the stage and screen make it even more remarkable. 
In October 1954, after the film A Star Is Born had opened and been reviewed, Harry Warner, head of the studio's business side in New York, decided that the picture was too long. He ordered another half hour of cuts so that exhibitors could get in one more showing per day. By this time, George Cukor was in India filming Bawani Junction, so he was unable to influence the re-editing of the film. The cuts included an entire sequence in which Norman and Esther lose touch with each other while Norman is on location. A comic scene of her getting sick on the way to her first preview was also deleted, along with two complete numbers. Here's what I'm here for. The song Esther is recording when Norman proposes to her and Lou's that long face, the number she does before and after she breaks down in her dressing room. The cuts represented most of the scenes that developed Norman and Esther's relationship. To make matters worse, the studio melted the negative from the cutscenes to retrieve the film's silver content. Word of the cuts hit the press and generated such a strong backlash against the film that attendance dropped precipitously. As a result, despite the film's promising opening, it ended up losing money. The film's final budget was $5,019,770, making it Warner Bros. Most expensive film, and the second costliest in Hollywood history, just behind Duel in the Sun, which had cost just $205,000 more. In the 1954 movie A Star Is Born, an interesting fact worth noting is that the first scene to be shot was the train sequence. In this scene, the character Esther, newly signed as an actress, stands in for a star by waving a handkerchief out of a train window. The scene bears a resemblance to a famous moment in the novel Anna Karenina. This early scene set the stage for the unfolding drama in the film. The movie also featured a plot point where the character Norman Maine is whisked away to film an unnamed sea epic. Interestingly, in the same year, 1954, James Mason, who portrayed Norman Maine, appeared in the film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It's an intriguing connection between the actor and the sea-themed movies of that year. One noteworthy detail outside of the film itself is that Judy Garland, who played the lead role of Vicki Lester, did not attend the 1955 Academy Awards. She was nominated as Best Actress for her portrayal but couldn't make it to the ceremony because she was in the hospital after giving birth to her third child, a son named Joey Luft. These facts offer a glimpse into the behind the scenes and personal aspects of A Star Is Born in 1954, enriching the story surrounding this classic movie. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the captivating world of the 1954 classic, A Star Is Born, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the personal connection you've forged with this timeless cinematic gem. Like a cherished old friend, this film has touched the hearts of countless souls over the years, resonating in unique and profound ways. Perhaps you found inspiration in Esther's unwavering determination to succeed. Or maybe Norman's struggle struck a chord as he navigated the tumultuous waters of fame and self-discovery. Or it's quite possible that the melodic strains of the man that got away still linger in your mind, evoking a bittersweet symphony of emotions. Now, I encourage you to share your treasured memories and thoughts about A Star Is Born. What scenes continue to move you? Which performances left an indelible mark on your soul? Let your voice join the chorus of those who have been spellbound by this cinematic masterpiece for generations. Your unique perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of experiences that this film has woven. Thank you for taking the time to explore the depths of A Star Is Born with us. Your passion and appreciation for this classic is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling in our lives. Keep the spirit of this remarkable movie alive by sharing your thoughts and memories with others. Until our next cinematic adventure, stay inspired and keep those memories close. With heartfelt appreciation,